Hey, uh, welcome guys. Uh, I'm going to be making a video here that goes over um, Slack setup and kind of like an overview of Slack. Um, this video will be good for um, all new members and also all current members, um, given we have a new wide variety of uh, some different channels and whatnot. So um, when getting into Slack, um, everything that I'm going to be showing in this video that is through desktop, um, it's also capable through um, through your phone and like mobile device and you know you can do the full setup through your phone as well um, and we can help you if you need help with that so I guess just to go over slack a little bit um, if you look at slack you know apex chefs is a server itself so with that um, you know there's abundance of different settings and things like that um, that you have capabilities to set you know for yourself and then um, within our server of Apex Chefs, we have a large variety of channels. Um, so with these channels, we're going to see a bunch of different ones. And whenever um, you know, new members join, I mean, it might be like a little bit overwhelming. So to start out, you know, whenever we look at the channels, there's going to be these little lock, um, these like little padlock symbols. And that essentially means that that channel is a private channel and that it's a monitor. So why don't we first uh, kind of go over, you know, monitors, setups, and things like that. So to start out, you know, we have uh, all U.S. Uh, monitors, and we also have the global monitors. Um, I keep the uh, monitors outside of the U.S. kind of down here for myself because I am U.S. based. So when looking at, you know, what a monitor is, um, there's primarily three different types that we have. Uh, maybe even more than that, but, you know, to start out, whenever we look at Adidas, um, they personally do not allow um, like the add to cart feature and what I mean by that you know we can start out by looking at um, when we look at like the Shopify filtered so for Shopify websites and some other websites um, whenever an item drops we will be able to see um, something called like an add to cart feature and what that means is is that um, there's gonna be a variety of different sizes and whenever you hit ATC or add to cart next to that size it's going to take you to the checkout page. So as we see, you know, it works. Um, part of the monitors that we have, one of the great things um, of why, uh, you know, Guap is like the best, is that with our monitors, with this like add the cart feature, um, you can click this little setup button right here. And then once you go into there, I'm going to scroll down, but not too far because uh, the autofill settings there. Um, but basically you can go down here. Oh, mine's not even filled out, so I can show you. Um, and fill out some autofill settings. Um, so um, for this, you know, you can uh, put all your information here. So um, whenever you go back to Slack and you add the cart, it should autofill. Um, outside of Chrome, I mean, this is like a separate program. Um, it will autofill automatically um, onto the website for you. Um, at least under the shipping page, it'll definitely do that. Um, so that's kind of going over, I guess, kind of like the add the cart feature. And um, with that as well, if you do have bots, um, we offer quick tasks. So with that, um, if you look at you know the setup again, a wide variety of different bots are supported. So going back to Slack, um, the Adidas monitor, and this goes for all regions, they do not offer add the cart. It's just not possible through their website. You can always click the name, and it'll take you directly to the link. Whenever we look at some other things like sneakers, um, it's somewhat similar. Sneakers, um, you have to open up in the app. You physically cannot, um, you know, go to their website like add the cart. So during a sneakers drop, like we saw here, this one, um, you know, this was actually UK. We want to go to a US drop since I'll be able to access it. Anytime a, a drop happens, um, you'll be notified instantly, and there will be a link that you can access a desktop or pretty much whenever a sneakers drop happens, you want to open up the application on your phone. So to go through some of these other monitors, um, this is pretty much my setup. Um, I may have some more than you may need. The big thing with Slack and whenever you join the channels um, is how to set up notifications. So let's just say Shopify unfiltered. Unfiltered means that it, any type of item that drops on any Shopify website is going to pop up here. There's going to be like thousands of items per day. There's no need for all those notifications. A lot of channels that you're going to have, outside of monitors even, are going to have a lot of notifications and that may just be overwhelming and not for you. So when setting up your Slack, 
you want to go to uh, this little cogwheel up here, uh, channel settings. Then you can go to notification preferences. And from there, you can uh, decide whether or not you want to um, ignore notifications or mute the entire channel. So there's a difference between this. So whenever you uh, have like just mentions or ignore notifications, that pretty much means that like you know you're not going to get notified at all. Now if you hit mute entire channel, it's physically going to move the channel to the bottom of your list so it's out of the way. So that way your uh, your channel list is kind of cleaner and organized. So as we see, Shopify unfiltered now went down here. I don't really like it there, so I'm going to unmute it and put it back. But let's just say you know you are from the U.S. and um, you know there's a channel that's not applicable to you, and you want to get it out of your way. So that's what I did here, and I just simply muted like a lot of these channels because I'm not in Japan, I'm not in the U.K. Um, going back here, we can go through some of the others, um, some of the basics, you know, in terms of setup. Um, I really recommend the following channels for you to have, and this goes outside of monitors. Um, for all members. Um, Adidas is pretty important. You want to have Adidas. Um, if you're into bots, you know, and catching restocks and understanding what's going on in the bot community, um, our, our bot monitor um, to see what's happening on Twitter uh, can be very helpful. Um, the bot monitor as well, you know, if there's any changes on any of their websites. BrickSeek, you know, I don't really do this too much. It just shows like discounted items that may pop up on miscellaneous websites. I'm kind of like a jig, um, you know, type, uh, type program, if you will. Um, DSM, you know, not really essential. You know, during a certain drop, you may want to have this, or you might want to just keep it around to tune into. The frenzy monitor, not really important. Different foot sites. Um, so the different foot sites like Champs, East Bay, Foot Action, they don't offer, like, add to cart as well, um, but they do, you know, show the different sizes and with uh, direct links uh, for you to access that. So, um, you know, with the foot sites, that I personally, you know, they have a ton of activity. Unless it's around a drop time, you may want to turn notifications on. That goes for, like, a lot of this. Um, Kith, I usually keep all notifications on. Um, undefeated as well is kind of important. You want to make sure that the undefeated monitor you keep all notifications on for. Um, the rationale behind this is that sometimes Kith, undefeated, and some of these other websites, they may drop products with funny names. So, example, they dropped um, the Sakai Blazers, and uh, the item name was just a simple number two. So, Shopify filtered would not catch that drop because um, the Shopify filtered or filtered channels work on keywords. So, number two is not filtered, so therefore, you know, bots or, you know, monitors would miss it. Kith and some other websites like Undefeated, you know, they do these things on purpose to try and throw people off. Um, it goes without saying, the off-white monitor is extremely important. Um, you always want to keep notifications on for this. Other filtered, um, this is somewhat similar to Shopify filtered, but um, this is for non-Shopify websites. Um, there's not an add to cart feature for this. This is similar to kind of like the foot sites and Adidas. You know, we're going to provide a direct link. So if an item drops and there's like some good sizes or something that you want, um, you simply just click the link and it will take you to the link um, of the web page uh, directly to the product. All right, so that kind of goes through, you know, a lot of these different um, monitors. Um, other important ones, password page is essential. You know, whenever there's a password page on like Travis Scott's site or, you know, Yeezy Supply, um, it notifies you, so that's extremely important. Um, Shopify filter, it goes without saying, this is probably the most important channel um, for you to have on. Sneakers, drops is very important. Um, sneakers, uh, US drops, and also restocks. The restock monitor isn't always that accurate. It has like a lot of back-end changes, um, so it pings a lot. Supreme, whenever it's in season. Supreme US is filtered, meaning that we'll set keywords that like the good items for the week will only populate here. Supreme US unfiltered means that, uh, you know, some of the less hyped up items, um, anything that restocks or during the initial, uh, you know, drop will populate here. Um, undefeated, like I mentioned, I always keep that on. And then for union, you know, uh, that's not really that important unless it's kind of like a union specific drop. So outside the monitors, um, to go through kind of like the rest of uh, the different channels um, within Apex, um, so ones that you need to have notifications on for announcements. Um, this is probably the most important one. 
Um, anything that's essential in the mods will be uh, shouting out and letting you know. Um, the title for most of these kind of describes, you know, what it's for. Um, pretty much self-explanatory, so I don't think I need to go through it too much. Um, hypothetically, you know, the fitness channel may not be for you. Uh, that's understandable. If it is not, you know, again, you can hit the cogwheel, go to notification preferences. You can just mute it, get it out of the way completely, or um, just silence notifications. Um, general track can have a lot of activity, so it's understandable, you know, if you don't want to um, partake in that. I always suggest that you have notifications on, though, for uh, group buys. The calendar, you know, uh, that's important. We're going to let you know a breakdown of everything that's happening. Guys, release info is extremely important. Um, this is where we drop like essential information for drops uh, and you know guides on how to how to navigate a release. Um, during Supreme Season, we have a separate channel just for that. Um, the Help Question Answers channel is extremely important as well. Um, just so everyone is aware, within Slack, we try and keep things clean. So, for example, you know, whenever you join, if you have questions about anything, if you have questions about slots. If you have questions about, you know, something in a guide, if you have questions about um, an announcement we make, whatever it is, please do not ask in that channel. Please only ask questions within the Help Questions Answers channel. Um, this channel is always being monitored by mods 24-7, and we will uh, get back to you. If you ask questions in general chat or some of these other channels, um, it may get lost just because there's such a high volume. You know, the Marcus Plates channels, you know, you can have notifications on if you wish. Um, Profits and Steals is kind of cool. You know, we throw some stuff up there, so you might want to have notifications on for that. Um, before a release, you know, raffle links, you can have this on just so you know all the different raffle links that are happening. A lot of um, W's can come from that. Resell predictions will let you guys know, you know, what, uh, what we expect um, in terms of some predictions on uh, what items are going to be worth. Goes without saying, if you want to participate in slots, please keep notifications on for there. And other than that, um, you know, the rest of these channels are kind of like self-explanatory. So that pretty much goes through, um, you know, Slack. Um, you can explore if you have any additional questions. Like I said, after joining or after viewing this video, you're not sure like what um, channels or what monitors you should have active. Um, absolutely, ask us in the help uh, questions answers channel. Um, other thing to keep in mind is, like I said, there's a lot of notifications, but during drops, you may want to make sure the notifications are on for like some different things. Um, so whenever it comes drop time, let's just say for a Yeezy, and also foot sites are getting it, you know, you want to make sure you adjust your notifications for the foot sites, um, you know, different Shopify websites that are going to be dropping it, everything that's on the site list, and uh, kind of put up with all the notifications for a little bit until at least the drop is over. Um, Thanks for listening. If anyone has any uh, other questions, be sure to let me know.